Friend, you might not understand what's going on in your world and your life right now, and that's okay. You might look back years later and be like, oh, <laughs> you crazy. I don't have to understand to trust God. I'm going to trust in God even when it doesn't make sense. I'm going to trust in God when it doesn't feel good. I'm going to trust in God when I'm in pain. I'm going to trust in God on my lowest moments. I'm going to trust in God in my highest moments. Come on, Zoe Church. Give him a praise if you're willing to put all your faith, all your confidence, all your belief in a bigger man. Don't you trust in a political leader. Don't you trust in a person. A person will break your heart. A human is as wicked and evil as you are. Don't you trust people. Trust God. That's why the Bible says, Proverbs 3, put it on the screen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He will direct your path. He will establish your thoughts. I trust in God with everything. Lord, I'm trusting you with my money. I'm trusting you with my marriage. I'm trusting you with my family. I'm trusting you with my church. I'm trusting you with 2024. I don't look to me. I don't look to others. You're my source. You're my provider. You're my leader. You're my shepherd. I trust in you. So that's, that's what got Job through. Job just trusting God. I'm just trusting God. In fact, look here on the scripture. I just love this. Psalm 139. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Job's sitting here going, I, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't say anything. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't. And this, <laughs> this, some of you are frustrated because you're like, I've been serving God. I've been trying my best, Pastor. I've been really trying. And this? <laughs> I get it if it's for others, but like um, in church, um, I went to two of the five Zooms at 6 a.m. <laughs> the heck is this? I fasted for three days. This? David is writing here and he says, it's just too wonderful for me to understand. Maybe when I get to heaven and I get to be with Jesus, maybe then I'll get to ask, hey, what was that season about? And what was that about? And why then? And why those people? And why this thing? And why did you make me, why did you make me suffer with that? And how come I didn't get calf muscles and they did? And Lord, I just, how come I never got to really dunk clean? Because I'm 6'2". I have, I'm 6'3", but I got to say 6'2". And spin hard life's hard isn't it it's hard bumps and bruises and pain and trials and and we come into church and we play like it's not don't we we sing these songs and we're like but you're in pain but you're not in process if you don't process your pain, that pain's going to become your identity. And the people that are around you, <laughs> they're going to love your pain because they profit off your pain. And they're never going to want to see you grow and evolve and change because then you're going to leave them in the dust. But I'm telling you, God's got something bigger. God's got something better. We're going to come next week. Next week at the end of this story, you're not going to imagine what God does in the end with Job. But he never would. I'm telling you, you got to finish this with us. Come back next week. you got to finish the climactic conclusion of Job. It would have never happened if he didn't process the whole way through. He realized that there's no way around this. Remember that old rhyme? Can't go under it. Can't go around it can't go over it so I guess I gotta go through it I gotta go through my stuff and so do you I gotta go through my pain and trauma I gotta go through my sin and issue I gotta go through the stuff that sets me back I gotta go through the chains that are trying to get a hold of me I gotta go through this stuff because on the other side is the blessing of the Lord